Wrong answer, dead meat. That was probably the dumbest thing you could have said. Fine, have it your way. You startled me. You really mustn't creep up on people like that. That's no way to talk to a man of science. I don't have time for this kind of childish nonsense. I have some very delicate experiments that I must attend to. My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh wait, I'm a scientist. How marvelous. My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? My word, you understand perfectly. How marvelous! Well, this is rather embarrassing, so you'll have to forgive me, but it appears that I've made a slight miscalculation in my mutagen samples. Instead of lowering the size of the ants, the brood hatched and developed a, a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis, the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but I can't get nearby equipment.
I'm afraid it's not that simple. The mutagen has already been injected into the Ant Queen. She has enough in her body to last for years. My problem right now is I can't reach my terminal to make the proper adjustments and repair the damage I've caused. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. If I were to do that, months of data would be lost. No, no, the Queen must remain completely unharmed. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Ooh, filthy little abominations. No, it should all wrap up rather nicely. I've rigged my equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the Queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So, that's all there is to it. What do you say? Yes, I suppose you're right. Science must learn to acquiesce to your standards in order to advance itself. I was merely going to offer up one of my mutagenic bio-enhancers, but I suppose I could up the ante. I will also award you with my old lab coat. It served me well over the years, and you may find it useful for your own experiments. You will? How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The Nest Guardians can be quite tenacious. Finally, a chance to recant my mistake. How marvelous! may I assist you in your endeavors? 